All right, welcome back, Cancer and Regular Guy. Um, today we have an important topic to discuss, mindfulness and cancer recovery. Cancer treatment and recovery um, can be somewhat difficult and sometimes very difficult. And in previous videos, I've talked about the importance of being prepared for cancer treatment and your recovery, but that's been mostly been on a very uh, physical level, right? Talking to doctors, getting your stuff together, resting, building up your strength, etc. But what about preparing mentally for the challenge ahead? Uh, that's something I haven't really talked a lot about. And I have to admit that one of the things I didn't do is prepare a lot mentally because I didn't know a whole lot about how to prepare mentally for cancer treatment. That's one of those things you just don't think about. But in this video, we're going to explore um, how we can do that, how mindfulness can benefit those of us that are going through cancer treatment or have gone through treatment and recovery, you're about to go through treatment, and how mindfulness as a discipline, I think that's the right way to say it, mindfulness as a discipline can help us recover a little bit easier, maybe even a little bit faster. So what is um, mindfulness? The noted psychologist, Dr. Ellen Langer, has written that mindfulness is a flexible state of mind in which we are actively engaged in the present, noticing new things and sensitive to context. Now, Dr. Langer, for you probably you may not know who she is. Dr. Langer is um, probably one of is considered the mother of mindfulness. She's been teaching at Harvard University. She is a noted psychiatrist or psychologist, and has been studying this for since the 70s, basically. And I just finished reading her book, uh, this one right here, Counterclockwise. And I highly recommend you read that book. It's really got some good stuff in it, really good information. And I just ordered her newest book, The Mindful Body. I was really hoping that would be here by the time we did this video, but it's not here yet. How can incorporate, how can incorporating mindfulness how can that positively impact us during our cancer recovery journey? Mindfulness can reduce stress, anxiety, and depression, which are very common emotions experienced by us as cancer patients. It can improve the quality of life, enhance our emotional well-being, and support our overall healing, which I think that's something we all are looking for during our treatment and during our recovery is just an improvement and to improve our, our well-being overall, right? So... Now that we understand the benefits, let's talk about some practical strategies that anyone can incorporate in their daily routine. One thing would be breathing exercises. Take a few minutes each day to focus on your breathing that can help you relax and calm your mind. Concentrate not just on, I need to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. What I'm saying is concentrate on the feel of breathing, what it feels like for the air coming into your lungs and coming out. Measure your breaths just in comfort level. Just don't in, hold, and out. Feel comfortable with it. Under, feel everything that's happening um, to relax and calm your mind. And that's one of the things I, I regularly do, especially at night when it's time to go to sleep. Um, my schedule is I read three to five pages in a book. I lay that back down, put all my electronic crap away, lay down, close my eyes, and start concentrating on my breathing, and then fall, slowly fall asleep. Usually I find that works. So I can see where this could be a relaxing technique to kind of help you along through it. Mindful walking. All right, so going for a walk while intentionally paying attention to each step the sensation of your feet touching the ground, what's under your feet, the sound that your feet make when they hit the ground, um, crackling leaves, a cracking twig, the sound of the wind in the trees, stuff like this to help you relax and focus on what's happening right now um, and keep us in that present moment, which seems to be the key to mindfulness is staying in that present moment. <clears throat> and journaling. That's one of the things that I've recommended before is to sit down and write down your thoughts and feelings. That helps you process your emotions and develop a greater sense of self-awareness. You can then look at this as to, 
I'm feeling this way because I am. This today was not a good day because. And helping you focus and bring any negative feelings and put them on the paper and get back into a positive state of mind. Um, it's important for us to realize mindfulness is not about achieving a specific goal or outcome. It's about the journey of being fully present in each moment without judgment. Well, what does that mean? Um, it means that we accept that things are going to happen. And they are neither good things or bad things. They're just going to be things. And we accept it that way. Um, we also learn to take time for ourselves and practicing our self-care, and that's absolutely essential in our recovery. So what do I mean by that is staying in the present means we're going to let go of the past because it's over. Um, sitting here and worrying about, well, I wish I had done this or I wish I hadn't done that. In our past doesn't really make a difference anymore because it's over with. You can't put that back there somewhere. You can't can't fix that. You can't change that, right? Neither can we predict the future. We don't know what's going to happen. For example, I had a bad day yesterday at my chemo. They couldn't get the needle in. It was bad. So that means that next Monday at chemo day or tomorrow at my chemo day, I'm going to have another bad day. You don't know that. And by predicting that and predicting that negative event, that's going to place you in that negative mind state. And again, it's not helpful. We just accept it as it comes. I'm not saying don't prepare. But what I am saying is we don't predict the future as be especially as a negative <clears throat> so i know most of us are actually are really busy now and especially as we get ready to start either cancer treatments or you're in your treatments you're finding you may not have a whole lot of time in the day to do what you really feel like you should be doing so start off with like small steps begin by dedicating just a few minutes each day to mindfulness sit back take some, do some breathing exercises um start practicing your mindfulness techniques ahead of time and as you get better at it and as you start to understand it more you can build up over time um, find everyday triggers. Use regular activities such as waiting for the bus or waiting for a taxi or waiting for someone to pick you up, um, waiting for water to boil, whatever. And use those as reminders to bring your attention to the present moment. Um, use technology to your advantage. Um, there's a lot of mindfulness apps and podcasts that are out there. And they're available and they can guide you through meditation and other valuable resources. As we wrap up mindfulness, as we wrap up what, um, how to use that in our cancer journey, mindfulness is not a cure. So an answer to the question at the very beginning, can mindfulness, is mindfulness curing cancer? No, it is not. But it's a very powerful tool in your recovery toolkit. Back to my cancer toolbox, right? By embracing mindfulness practices, you can build up your resilience, reduce your stress, reduce depression, and enhance your overall well-being during this time. And I think that's what y'all want to do. We want to reduce stress. We don't want to be depressed. We want to improve our well-being. And just the very fact of being mindful helps put us into a more positive mind state, which helps our immune system. And does it cure cancer? No. But it is helping. It will help you recover. It makes you feel better, and just and think about it. The very least that'll happen is if you're if you start practicing these kind of things, is you have a better day. You have a good day, right? And then the next day, do the same thing. You have a good day. Next thing you know, you've had a good week. That's what I think we're all striving for during our cancer recovery. So thanks for watching today. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. See ya.